Hi, I'm Mike Hughes, and now we're going to go over the head down cue at a standstill with Dante. And as we're explaining, under saddle or on the ground, doing the head down cue. Uh, it has a lot of different purposes that we can use when it's, it immediately calms the horse down. When we see horses that are excited, nervous, scared, or higher than a kite, their heads are always up here. You don't see them like that with their heads down on the ground. So it's natural that the you know it's a natural calm down cue that horses use. So we just use it to our advantage under saddle or on the ground with the horses. So let me turn Dante this way a little bit. I'll show you how to start teaching it from under saddle. So this is gonna be my right rein. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna almost take all this adult root. If it starts rooting, I'm gonna go ahead and flex him. And when he's nice and quiet, I'll go ahead and release him. So going back down to the head down cue, we're gonna take almost all the slack out of the right rein. I'm gonna use my left rein. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure on the left rein. And as soon as the head starts dropping, I'm gonna release the pressure. So it's a pressure that asks him to do the things we want him to do. And it's the release that tells him he got the right answer and did a good job. So again, we're gonna pick up the right rein. Uh, not all the slack out of the right rein, but just a little bit. And then pick up on your left rein, and you're gonna watch the tip of his ear. As soon as that tip of the ear goes down, we're gonna release the rein. Now the horse's head can only go in six different directions, left, right, forward, back, up and down. That is it. So when you're adding pressure on, you're waiting for the horse to, his head to go, or in the ear to go in the direction you want it to go in. And we're choosing down. So I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure on the left rein. As soon as that head starts dropping, I'm gonna go ahead and release the pressure. So when teaching the calm down cue at the walk, I'm going to take almost all the slack out of my right rein so he can't overbend. I'm going to pick up the left rein and I'm going to watch the tip of the ear. As soon as the tip of the ear goes down, word, I'm going to release the pressure. And you got to remember the horse's head can only go in six different directions. Left, right, up, down, forward, and back. I'm waiting for one direction. So we add the pressure. When the tip, watch the tip of the ear, when the tip of the ear drops, even a quarter of an inch, release the pressure. The release is what tells the horse he got the right answer and did a good job. So here we're gonna start at the trot. Again, I'm gonna take all the slack, most of the slack out of the right rein, not quite all, just so he can't overbend. Then I'm gonna apply a little bit of pressure with the left rein and watch the tip of the ear. As soon as that tip of the ear drops, I'm gonna release the pressure. And this is what it looks like at the trot. So you're just gonna start to the left or you can start to the right, whichever way you want, but you're gonna do it at the trot on a bigger circle like we're doing right now. And every time he brings his head back up, he's gonna pick up the left rein again, in this case, the inside rein, apply a little bit of pressure when he drops his head, then go ahead and release the rein. Okay, so part two is doing it at the standstill, the walk and the trot. You wanna keep doing the calm down cue at the standstill at the walk and trot until your horse really knows it good. Then here in part three, we're gonna to go to desensitizing, sacking out on the ground first, then we'll teach our horse how to relax and calm down when he comes up on stuff out on the trails in the arenas or wherever he may be that scares him. And I guarantee you it will automatically relax. The full videos are on my membership page. If you're not a member, go to Google, type in Mike Hughes Horsemanship Members page, click on the link, and then click on subscribe. When you do subscribe, go to my group page on Facebook, uh, join my group page on Facebook, and then you can post pictures, uh, videos of you and your horse, and ask questions so I can help you and your horse out more. So we hope you're enjoying the videos. Have a great day, and enjoy your horses. Thank you.